from the Unity Magazine Daily Word is Thoughts and Words. I dwell in God's presence. His wisdom and love are expressed in and through me in thought, word, and deed. Today, I give someone the gift of awareness. How often we have observed in the circumstances of our lives that our thoughts, words, and actions produced the right results. We knew that they were right because of the harmony that accompanied the transactions and the loving relationships that were established throughout. We sensed that a presence mightier than the human self directed and concluded the affairs to the satisfaction of all concerned. This should be the rule rather than the exception in all circumstances of our lives. Every minute of every day, we need to be totally aware of God's presence dwelling in us. Our anxieties and our fears will be replaced by our realization of God's presence within us. With this realization, we will develop a childlike faith and trust in the power of God working through us. In this awareness of our oneness with God, we will meet all situations with confidence. Our scripture with this daily word comes from Psalm 23, verse 4. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The word we focus on today, thoughts, and words. And our affirmation, I will dwell in God's presence. His wisdom and love are expressed in and through me in thought, word, and deed. And so it is. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from error, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore Zeal Zeal is the mighty force that incites the winds, the tides, the storms. It urges the planet on its course and spurs the ant to greater exertion. It is the urge behind all things. Zeal is the affirmative impulse of existence. Its command is go forward. Our scripture for today, Psalms 91. Verse 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in 
whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. And we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. For Psalms 91. The Prayer of Faith by Hannah Moore Coats. God is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise. I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ, the truth that is in me. God is my help. I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing, quick. God is my all. I know no fear since God and love and truth are Unity principle number four. Again, through prayer and meditation, we align our heart mind with God. Denials and affirmations are the tools we use. I will dwell in God's presence. I will stay. Some say I will hang out. Yes, yes, yes. Affirmatively, we pray today that I will dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and I will feel safe and protected through faith. I will dwell in peace, love, and beauty. And with this affirmative prayer, this affirmative uh, reflection and knowing, we move forward today with zeal in our heart, mind, knowing and acknowledging that God is in charge of my life and affairs, and only good, only good can come to me. And this is our affirmative prayer today. I will dwell in the presence of the Most High. And so it is. Amen. Let us pray in the stillness, in the silence.
And yes, we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this moment of prayer, for this moment of stillness, for this, for this moment of meditation. And again, we say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. And so it is. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.